Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from the Household Searchlight Recipe Book of 1937, we're going to be making the pineapple and peanut sandwich. Okay, to uh, peanut butter, and I'm using a natural peanut butter because, you know, it was 1927, uh, we had crushed pineapple that's been drained. And salt. And yes, that is the correct amount of salt for the proportions I'm making. I am concerned. And now we put that onto buttered thin slices of bread. Okay, let's give this pineapple and peanut sandwich a go. The combination of peanut butter and pineapple is good. Um, it's just there's way too much salt on here. Um, I'm going to try and plus it up, not the garbage can. I want to see if something works. I'm going to add a little hoisin sauce. So a little sweet plumminess. Hopefully you uh, tamp down the salt a little. Okay, let's give this pineapple and peanut sandwich plussed up with a little hoisin sauce a go. So the sweetness in the hoisin sauce and the plumminess is helping to take down the um, salt. And peanut butter is such a great switch hitter. It can go with savory, it can go with sweet. In this case, it's doing a little bit of both. And the pineapple's working really well with the hoisin sauce as well. Don't get me wrong, still tasting salt in there, so um, yeah. Okay, so the original uh, pineapple and peanut sandwich, just way too much salt, way too much salt. I'm gonna give that a three. Uh, plus up with the hoisin sauce, that's gonna get it to a four. It did help, but it's still way too salty. I, I really don't need to eat that and increase my blood pressure, so I'm gonna find something else to eat, unfortunately. <laughs> oh well. I would make this again, just leaving out the salt, or just maybe a sprinkle of salt, because salt is a flavor enhancer, right? It kind of amplifies flavors when it's used judiciously, not when it's dumped in there like that. So yeah, I would try this again, but with uh, just a hint of salt. I think it'd be really good. Oh well, time to find something else for lunch. See you tomorrow.